The Shuazel Salty Bus Constituency Council has been mandated to pursue development in conjunction with residents. Hamadi Mark explains. The Shuazel Constituency Council saw the installment of new councillors to the local governing body. The council formerly named the Shuazel Village Council now holds the responsibility of governing and the development of the Shuazel Village and Salty Bus community. Parliamentary representative for Shuazel Salty Bus addressing the newly installed councillors urged them to approach their positions on the council with due seriousness and preparedness by familiarizing themselves with the Constituency Council Act. And your foremost purpose as councillors and Shuazelians is to maintain a social conscience and serve that conscience. It should never, never just be warming a seat, never be warming a seat at council meetings and collecting a stipend. You must have the passion to put your community first and to have an intimate awareness of where vulnerability exists. And when I speak of vulnerability, I do not only speak of residents, but I also speak of residents, T and C. A priority for all councillors and the council should always be to unite Shuzelians. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Housing and Local Government, Dr. Cordelia Lean Ambrose, encouraged councillors to engage in consultation with the various sectors in the constituency as they work towards the development of Shuzel Saltibus. Suzel Saltibus, a constituency renowned for its culture, heritage, resources, and in particular, the outstanding and unique craft which is produced right here. Once tapped into, will fulfill its optimum potential. We urge you additionally to create opportunities that will unify the various communities. Embrace the farmers. Shwazel is known for its sweet potatoes, among other agricultural produce. Embrace the fishers. Embrace the crafters. They are all part of the network that will work collectively towards the success of this constituency. John Preville was installed as chairperson of the Constituency Council and Philomena Laffey as deputy chair. From the Government Information Service, Hilmarie Mark reporting.